here's my premise. This idea of success failure is really important, and you guys play a key role in this. You play a key role in this. Safety, reliable performance, is not the absence of action. Failure happens all the time. Reliable performance is the presence of defenses and procedures and leaderships and systems. It's the capacity for a system to fail safely. I'll just tell you guys this because you need to know. We suck at managing accidents. We're terrible at it. But you know what we're good at? We're good at managing the conditions around which an accident can happen. And what we have to do as a group collectively worldwide is redefine what our notion of success is. Because asking people to behave perfectly may feel good, but practically it's impossible. What we do is create a system that fails safely, that fails forward. And to do that, we're going to have to shift the way we think about it. In fact, let me take it one step further. I think I can describe what it's like for you guys to do work. You tell me if I'm wrong, okay? I think you guys are as safe as you need to be without being overly safe in order to get work done. Wait a minute. Yep. Everybody buy that? Yep. So let me ask this question. Who's got a commute over 40 minutes? Can I pick you since you're right in front and I can see you? Sure. What's your name, sir? Don. Don? Yeah. How do you know when you're driving your commute every single day while you're driving that commute that you're safe? Well, I don't. You don't? <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? Oh, that's okay. So let me ask this question. Who drives more than 40 minutes a day? Can I pick you now? Okay, Don's not that good. You're way better. How do you know while you're driving you're safe enough? So you don't text and drive. Is not texting and drive sufficient enough to make sure you're safe while you drive? So how do you know you're safe enough while you're driving? Okay, so you're not in an accident. So does that mean you wait till you get to work and park your car, you get out of your car, you're in an equally crappy condition, your car is in equally crappy condition, no better or worse than when it left, and you determine that you're safe. Is that how you determine safety when you drive? You can't get it wrong. I love you no matter what you say. <laughs> Don's the one I'm mad at, you're the one I love. <laughs> how do you know you're safe enough while you drive? There's a couple ways. One is quite honestly, when you look at driving safety as an outcome, you measure it by the success of your trip, right? What's crazy about that is that that means you don't know, Don, that's your answer, you're safe enough until you get there, right? Unless you're one of those kind of people that every second you're driving, you're driving and you're thinking, I'm not dead yet, I'm not dead yet, I'm not dead yet, I'm not dead yet, and that's really tedious and no one will want to carpool with you. I mean, that's kind of awful, right? How do you know you're safe while you're driving? Well, part of our challenge is to realize that the answer to that is Don's answer. You don't know. And in fact, one of the challenges we have is that our tools and our perception assumes that hazard is permanent. But I'm in a room full of people who can tell a different story. Hazards aren't permanent. Hazards are constantly ebbing and flowing. They're moving out of in and out of work all the time. And in fact, when you drive, you don't ensure safety, you manage the risk. And the fact that you're constantly managing risk is one of the reasons I can look you in the eye and tell you, you could never write a procedure for your commute to work. Because your commute to work is such a complex activity that it sort of is beyond the ability to be proceduralized because of normal commuting variability. And the challenge we have is to realize that reliable performance of safety is not an outcome to be achieved. It's a process that we manage while we perform our tasks. Now that switch in definition is a really important switch. And in fact, if you're following any of the new different views of safety, you're deep in this conversation right now, where once we thought if we identified every hazard, mitigated those hazards, and if workers were obedient, we would have
have safety, we're now realizing that in fact there's much more to the story than that. What amazes me about the slide, and it kind of amazes me, is the fact that if you really push me, what you really are is super good at doing this activity. You're super good at being as safe as you need to be because there's really no need to be safer than safe, right? Without being overly safe, because being overly safe actually dramatically impacts your ability to perform your job in order to get the production done. And that balance is constantly being managed by workers all across the globe. In fact, while we're in this beautiful conference room, workers are managing this trade-off and they're doing it very effectively until they don't. And that's a big part of why we're here, is to sort of talk about what happens when variability impacts our success as a system. 